Hello everyone and welcome to our latest video. In today's video, we're going to cover version history for Digital Century. We get a lot of calls on what versions are supported on what systems. This video is going to answer that question. Now to start off, we have Digital Century currently in three flavors. We have the older legacy systems that use single core Pentium 4 processors. We have the newer dual core systems and then we have the DSSR V and the DSSR V2 which is the current digital century model okay so let's talk about our older Pentium single core systems now as you can see from the list here the last version that was available was 4.1 for this version we only have the full recovery which is a three disc set all three are required to fully recover a system. The older single core systems are unable to be updated to the latest version due to these systems having lower hardware specs and running on Windows XP. Newer versions require Windows 7 or higher and a dual core or higher. Now moving into our dual core systems which version started at 6.8.22 and ended with 7.2.30. While these are newer and do have dual core processors, they still are not able to be updated to the latest. The latest version of Digital Century as of this video is 7.18. The reason why is these systems still run on Windows XP more recent versions of Digital Century require Windows 7 or higher. We currently do not support upgrading legacy systems to Windows 7 or to the latest version of Digital Century software. Okay, now for our last product we're going to talk about specifically on the DSSRV and DSSRV2. As stated previously, the DSSRV2 is our current system. However, both DSSRV and DSSRV2 can be upgraded to the latest software, which as of this video is 7.18. Now there's a few special notes for the DSSRV and DSSRV2. Version 7.2.46 is the initial release version of the DSSRV series. And this version was only available with newer systems. Going forward, we do have newer recoveries that will accomplish the same thing that the previous 7.246 is. There is no need with either of these versions to go all the way back and download the older recovery. Also, with the newer recovery, we do change the SQL being used. This is important because if we have an older backup using an older SQL, there is possible conflicts that can arise. This can be easily solved if a database mismatch occurs by running the refresh script whose link I've included in the YouTube description. That covers our overview of Digital Century versions. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.